The B-2 Spirit is an incredible stealth bomber designed by the United States to lead the charge in strategic bombing missions. It's built to dive deep into enemy territory and strike hard, acting as the spearhead for other aircraft like the fast B-1 Lancer and the massive Cold War-era B-52 Stratofortress. Think of it as the first warrior that clears the path for the rest of the team. What makes it so special is its ability to stay hidden from radar, thanks to its unique wing design and a special paint that works together to keep it invisible in the sky. The wings of the B-2 are shaped in a way that deflects radar waves, scattering them instead of sending them back to the enemy. On top of that, the paint on its body absorbs any leftover radar signals, making it even harder to detect. This stealth feature is why it's called a spirit. It moves like a ghost through the air. The aircraft is made from a mix of strong and lightweight materials like titanium, graphite epoxy, fiberglass, polyamide, and fiberglass epoxy. These are used especially on the leading edges and tips of the wings. From the outside, it might look soft or delicate, but don't be fooled. Underneath that skin is a tough skeleton of high-strength steel ribs. These ribs let the wings flex and bend during flight, adapting to the pressures of the air without breaking. The engines of the B-2 are another big part of its stealth magic. They're buried deep inside the aircraft's body, not sticking out like on most planes. Air comes in from the front, gets processed, and then exits as slightly warm air from the back. This keeps the heat signature so low that heat-seeking missiles can't lock onto it. The plane's designers made sure it doesn't glow hot in the sky, which is a huge advantage when sneaking past enemy defenses. After about three decades of the B-2 service, the US has now introduced the B-21 Raider, a newer and smaller stealth bomber. If you put the B-2 and B-21 side by side with an average person standing next to them, you'd see the size difference clearly. The B-21 uses even more advanced stealth technology to shrink its radar cross-section, making it tougher for modern air defense systems to spot. Let's talk about the cockpit of the B-2. It's small and compact with the commander and pilot sitting side by side, working as a team. If something goes wrong mid-flight, the plane has ejection seats ready to save them. In an emergency, protective covers pop open and the crew can safely bail out of this billion-dollar machine. Inside the cockpit, there's a ton of high-tech gear. You've got a fuel control system to manage the massive fuel tanks, an attitude display to show the plane's position, a weapon control system to handle the bombs, and a terrain-following radar that scans the ground below. These tools let the pilots fly through the dark or tricky areas without losing their way. There's also a split rudder system and a secret stealth paint recipe. More on that later. The story of the B-2 goes back to a brilliant engineer named Jack Northrop. Back in 1949, he came up with the flying wing design, which was way ahead of its time. His first version, the YB-49, didn't make it past testing and was rejected. But his ideas about fly-by-wire technology, a system that uses electronics to control the plane, set the stage for the B-2. This tech helps keep an unstable aircraft like the B-2 steady in the air, something regular planes don't need as much. Northrop's vision from decades ago lives on in this modern marvel. Now let's peek inside the B-2's structure. At the front, you've got composite wingtips made of strong, lightweight materials. The plane has two huge fuel tanks built right into the wings, holding about 167,000 pounds. That's 75,000 kilograms of fuel. To put that in perspective, it's enough to fill two big tanker trucks. This makes the B-2 a real fuel-guzzling beast, but it needs all that juice to go the distance. It's designed to fly deep into places like Russian territory, covering about 6,900 miles, 11,000 kilometers, on its own. With air refueling from a Boeing KC-135 Stratotanker, it can double that range to 12,000 miles. That means it can stay in the air for 44 hours, almost two full days. That's an amazing feat of engineering. The power comes from four General Electric F-118 turbofan engines, each pumping out 17,300 pounds of thrust. These engines are tucked deep inside the airframe, with an S-shaped duct in front and behind them. Air gets sucked in by the fan, squeezed tight by low and high-pressure compressors, and then mixed with fuel in the combustor. This creates a fiery reaction, heating the air to around 1,000 degrees Celsius. The hot gas expands and rushes out, spinning the turbine blades, which drive the compressor and fan to produce thrust. But unlike fighter jets, the B-2 skips the afterburner. Speed isn't the goal here. Staying cool and quiet is. The exhaust gets mixed with cold outside air before leaving the plane, dropping its temperature and keeping the heat signature low. 
Unlike regular planes with ailerons, elevators and rudders, the B-2 does things differently. It has no tail or vertical stabilizers which would bounce radar waves back. Instead, it uses outboard elevons, mid-elevons and inboard elevons along the wings. These flaps move up and down or side to side independently, controlling the plane's roll and pitch. For turning, it relies on split drag rudders, two panels that open in opposite directions to create drag in yaw, the plane left or right. This makes turns slow compared to other military jets, but it's a trade-off for staying stealthy. The B-2's body is a mix of materials. The edges are fiberglass epoxy to deflect radar, while the main wings are mostly graphite epoxy. Near the engines, where it gets hot, there's titanium, a super strong, heat-resistant metal. The stealth paint, called radar-absorbing material, RAM, is still a classified secret, but experts say it's a polymer that soaks up radar waves. This tech is also used on planes like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. The B-2 can carry up to 40,000 pounds, 18,000 kilograms of bombs, like 80 Mark 82 bombs or 16 AGM-158 missiles. These weapons drop from high altitudes guided by GPS and adjustable fins to hit targets precisely. In a war scenario, the B-2 goes in first, taking out big air defense systems like the S-400 Triumph. Then the B-1 Lancer swoops in low to clear out older anti-aircraft guns, paving the way for the B-52 to finish off key targets. With only 19 B-2s in service, it's a rare and powerful machine.